hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to sync app sheet or to update app sheet when there is a changes in google sheets so in this example application i have one table and i would like to have app sheet to update the table if there is a changes in this google sheet so let's say i have a running script here to update the status let's say i'm going to change this into pending and without syncing the app user will see the status here as updated uh, to change it into pending as well but the problem with this without syncing the app it may take 30 minutes to uh, let the user see the uh, the latest status if you enable these changes i mean these settings in the behavior offline sync automatic updates 30 minutes it's pretty long actually so what if we can reduce it into 20 seconds to 30 seconds user can see the changes without syncing the the app and before we proceed to the tutorial i would like to show you the recent update from app sheet for those of you who don't know yet this is a quick sync so basically what this uh how this work is like let's say other app user updates the app so let's say check valve as you can see there is no s here i would like to put an s in this i'm going to change the spelling instantly without syncing the app user will see the changes as you can see but the problem of this is um this doesn't have uh work in google sheets let's say if the update happens from the back end from the google sheet as you can see until now i pending still nothing here there is no changes um so let me show you how to do that so the first thing we're gonna do guys is to have this table called last updated so last updated and let me just so we, we're going to create a server call on this so i added a table or a column here last updated then in the app sheet uh, here it's a date and time and without any formula then let's go to the behavior and create a what you call this a action to update the date and time all right so over here so we select the table select the last updated and just um, do not display and just place the formula now save then let's create an automation so let's create a boot and create custom boot let's say custom boot and let's say here auto sync let's say i'm going just to name this as auto sync and here so name this event so this auto sync in the data table so this is only for a single table we're doing all changes like the table add step and then uh, run a data action then select this update date and time and save so we already done our automation in app sheet uh, let's go back to the google sheet so in the google sheet guys uh, you go to the extension and get an add-ons so here we're going to search in the marketplace what we called app sheet events this one option events works with google sheets and this made by google so just installed it choose the account just wait until uh, it's installed okay click done and that's it so let's refresh this just to make sure that uh, we having the extension so we having now you can see an extension here you can select a table so i would like only to select i have two tables actually it's it's hidden there so i would like to select only the data table which is this table now let's refresh this app and see what will happen 
So right now you can see it's a completed. If you have a script or someone updated this, let's say someone deleted this. Here you should see as well it was deleted or it will be deleted. So let's wait within 20 to 30 seconds without syncing the app. So my cursor is here as you can see. So we'll see if this also be deleted without refreshing the app. All right, let's wait. As you can see, guys, it changes even though I did not refresh the app. So let's uh, let's try to put to put it back. So here, as you can see. So right now there is nothing. So let's wait for a few seconds. Without refreshing the app, user will see the updated status. All right, let's wait. So as you can see, it's added here, completed. And also it works when you uh, update something here. Let's say you, you update this one is pending. Let's say you update this also updated by, let's say my name. And we'll see if it works. So this check bulbs here in the Google Sheet showing pending and updated by me we'll see if it's also showing my name here without refreshing the app sheet all right let's wait so please uh, take note guys that this uh, tutorial is only for a single tab so after this, later on, I'm going to show you how to do that in multiple tabs. As you can see, guys, it's uh, updated as well without syncing the app. So this is better than the 30 minutes you have to wait. All right. So in my next video, I will show you how to do that in a multiple tabs. As you can see here, uh, I, I hide the tables actually. Okay. So here, even though... Um, here so we're gonna do that also in a multiple tabs right now it my instruction here is to show you in a single tabs only all right so let's say i'm going to delete all of this and see again it should be deleted within 20 to 30 seconds so what do you think guys about this uh tutorial is it helpful to your app let me know in the comment and uh, if you wanted to know how to do it in uh, multiple tabs, I will create a separate video for that. So this is the last test. We'll see. I deleted all of this and see if it's updated without um, refreshing the app. As you can see, it's updated. So pretty cool, right? So if you learned something in this video, don't forget to subscribe or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video.